ADHD can be the most frustrating thing in the world and can severely hinder someone's productivity levels and just their general quality of life. So what else is out there apart from pharmacological agents to combat ADHD? What's up everyone, my name is Lucas. My mission is to bring you the most cutting edge health information that you'll struggle to find on Google. Please do me a favor, if you're watching this video, hit like and please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So ultimately today I'm here to discuss a novel compound that can be used to combat ADHD. First of all, let's take a look at the different types or I guess the common treatments for ADHD. Now in this diagram here, you can see that there are various medications that are currently being used to combat ADHD, both in children and in adults. We have the short acting amphetamine stimulants and the brand name goes as Adderall, Dexedrine, Dextrostat, and the generic name is mixed uh, amphetamine salts, dextroamphetamine. Then we have the short acting methylphenidate stimulants. So the common one is Ritalin. Many people know about Ritalin. Then we have the intermediate acting methylphenidate stimulants. So like Metadate, CD and Met Ritalin long acting. And then we also have the long acting amphetamine stimulants such as Vyvanse and Adderall extended release and Dexedrine, the long acting methylphenidate stimulants and then the long acting non-stimulants. So there's quite a variety there. I don't wanna dive deep into all of those. Of course, some of them are gonna be effective for certain individuals. Others are gonna have a range of crazy side effects that can ultimately outweigh the benefits. And also many of these can dramatically affect uh, sleep and even cause some degree of tolerance and withdrawal. So there is another compound that appears to be uh, rising in the ADHD scene and I'll explore that very shortly. We need to take a look at the different types of ADHD. I'm not gonna go into too much detail in terms of the different features of each. We have the classic ADHD, the inattentive, the over-focused, the temporal lobe, the limbic, the ring of fire and the anxious. Now, of course, there's gonna be many similarities and differences across each of the various types. Some of them will have overlapping symptomology and also you know, just unique features. So ultimately, what I'm gonna do is I'll dive into one particular compound that's really caught my eye in terms of improving sort of ADHD symptoms based upon its unique mechanism of action. So what I'm here to talk to you about today is the nootropic drug for ADHD called cyclazidone. Now, cyclazidone is a novel stimulant substance of the 4-oxazolidinone class. It's a, it's a mouthful. Um, that produces stimulating and focus enhancing effects when administered orally. It is structurally related to pemeline. If you do a quick Google search on pemeline, you'll see tons of research and results. And then it's also similar to 4-methylaminorex. Now, cyclazidone was actually developed in the 1960s by the American Cyanamid Company. It's non-clinical use has only found recent attention as a research chemical study aid. So you can see the chemical structure of cyclazidone here. Now, how does cyclazidone actually work? Cyclazidone is an amphetamine-like agonist of the trace amine associated receptor one or TAR1. Now, Keep an eye out for this particular TAR1 receptor because I'm planning on discovering other compounds that can also bind to and activate this TAR1 receptor that, that is not considered synthetic. So keep an eye out because I will be releasing certain compounds that may be able to bind to this same receptor. And this receptor here is a key regulator of common and trace brain monoamines such as dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline. Now the agonism of this set of receptors results in the release of an increase in concentrations of dopamine, serotonin, and noradrenaline in the synaptic cleft. And this is ultimately what leads to the cognitive and physical stimulation that many people experience when they use cyclazidone. I will be leaving a link to cyclazidone in the video description below. You will need an approved account to purchase this molecule as it is only for research purposes only. So you can see this study here, the stimulatory effects of pemeline and cyclo 
profil pemeline on continuous avoidance behavior similarity to effects of d amphetamine so cyclazidone versus amphetamines well in animal models cyclazidone exhibits central nervous system stimulant and antidepressant efficacy and potency at least equal to that of dextroamphetamine now the duration of maximal activity spanned 180 minutes and the total duration of excitation was in excess of six hours furthermore according to the inventor's patents cyclazidone also possessed anorexic efficacy and potency at least equal to that of dextroamphetamine in animal models yet the toxicity of cyclozidone was found to be low in comparison with dextroamphetamine so it is a severe side effect for many adhd medications and stimulants the anorexic response so the shutting off of uh, appetite and blunting of appetite unfortunately cyclozidone also has this effect so it is going to cause a suppressive effect on food intake and desire to eat food so looking at the safety profile of cyclozidone as with most stimulants addiction is going to be an issue and it should be noted that the lack of pharmacological data an extremely limited history of human usage does possess the potential for long-term safety issues therefore from my experience it's it's a compound that's best utilized in short-term uses so perhaps one to two days a week when you really need that heightened level of focus tolerance is also developed but again this is combated by you know taking breaks and cycling it out with other compounds if you want to learn more about some other unique nootropic compounds check out the link in the video description check out my nootropics course i've got some really cool stacks and compounds there so you can see that after that it takes about you know sort of three to seven days for tolerance to be reduced again cycling is is best or is always advised with any compound really. Looking at some of the cyclozidone dosages, this is captured from Psychonaut Wiki. We can see the threshold common and heavy, light and strong. So we have threshold dose at five milligrams, light at five to 15 milligrams, common dosages at 15 to 25 milligrams, and then strong sitting at about 25 to 40 milligrams. And you can see the total duration of the effects were about five to seven hours. And the onset is about 20 to 45 minutes. So a pretty rapid onset can compared to some other stimulants. Although quite similar to caffeine in that regard as usually you do feel the stimulating effects of something like caffeine quite rapidly. Looking at the legal status for cyclazidone, it is currently a gray area compound and it is also banned by WADA, the World Anti-Doping Agency. In Germany, it is considered legal, although there are many restrictions in terms of usage. In Switzerland, it's not controlled and is also considered to be legal in the US. Cyclozidone being an analog of that, that pemeline is a schedule four controlled substance. Caution is advised there. This particular compound does look very promising. I don't have ADHD, so I can't really comment in terms of the efficacy, but overall I respond really well to stimulants, although I don't use them often at all. I've been playing around with some other neurogenic molecules. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please do like it, please share it around. And also if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll be happy to respond to them. And also do me a favor and also check out my website. There is a ton of amazing research and education content there. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Super stoked to be talking about the things that I love. Hope to see you all soon.